All right. So today we're doing sections, which is cutting stuff in half. So we have this part here. We look at it the side. Can you see much of anything about the inside of it? No. So we do a section. We just cut it <laughs> in half. Now I can look at the inside and see a lot of detail. So that's what we're doing with sections. And today's a full section because we're cutting it all the way in half. We're cutting the full width of the part in half. Okay? So you full section, you, you see half the part. Okay? And next we go about half sections where you see a quarter of the part. But full full section, in your view, it's cut fully across. Okay? So what we just did here, just take the plane and we cut it, and now we're looking at the inside of the part. <clears throat> so what we do also is these lines, those are our section lines, and that shows where there is material that we cut. Because if you do a two view, or just a multi view drawing, and you didn't have those, you wouldn't know which parts were being cut, which weren't. So by doing the section lines, we now can see that, oh, there's material here, there's material here, material here, material there, when I cut the part. So doesn't this look a lot better than that? Can't you see what's going on a little bit better? <clears throat> so that's why we do the section. So now we can see the inside, and we can see more clearly what's going on. <clears throat> when we get to dimensioning in a few weeks, one of the things that we'll do is you can only dimension the lines that are visible. So here, you can't dimension any of this stuff. But here, now you can. So we'll talk more about this back when we get to, or when we get to dimension in a few weeks. So any questions so far? So when we cut it, this line here is a cutting plane line. And what we're doing is basically taking everything to this side of it, the side opposite the arrows, we're taking it away. So we're pretending like that's all gone. And now we're just looking at it from here, looking that way. So we see anything that's on the cutting plane where it cuts through. We also see all the edges that are behind it. So which one of those views is correct? A. I heard an A. Anyone else? C. C. What else? What about B? Is B correct? At all? No, B's not good because it's not showing any of the back stuff, right? It's only showing on the cutting plane. It's not showing any of this stuff. So B is out of here. <clears throat> so we had C, D, E, and A. <clears throat> so which one do you think is wrong? Definitely. D. D? Yeah, because we're, tr we're trying to make everything visible, right? So that's gone. Now A, C, and E. Yeah, when C is wrong because in sections when we cut it, we don't want to see the hidden lines of stuff that's past it. And so we won't show the extra hidden lines. Because that is technically right, right? Yeah. If we wanted to show hidden lines, this would be correct. But when we do sections, we don't want to show <coughs> any other hidden lines also. So we just want to get rid of that. So now we have A and E. Not the TV station. I'm not watching dramas <laughs> and movies. So which one is correct? What's different about them? E the section lines change direction. Yep. And see how the, the section lines change direction here and here? There you go. Is that, that better? 
See how the second line has changed direction here? We don't want that to happen because when we're doing a section, we can also section in the whole assembly where we have all different parts put together. And in that case, we use different directions to show different parts. So if I was looking at this, I'd think this is one part, and then just look at that one. Um, but I think that this is one part, and this is another part. So we want our section lines to be going all the same direction. And all spaced an eighth of an inch apart. And do you guys have anything that could do that for you? There we go. All these holes here, remember this part I said I'd throw away if you want. These holes, they're an eighth of an inch apart. So what you can do is you put that down. Put your pencil in the top hole, and if you had a sharp pencil, anyone have a sharp pencil? <coughs> I'd start down here, put pencil in, draw, bring it back, go to the next hole, draw, back, next hole, draw. <laughs> I let it kind of go up. But if you keep your stuff all still and you're not trying to do it lean to the side, you can make some nice parallel lines that are evenly spaced. You just want to make sure that this doesn't go like that, like mine did. You want it to stay sliding right along. Are the holes on that circle an part or no? Depends on how you rotate it. And so I don't use the center. I take it out, play frisbee, whatever. <laughs> These are the ones I want. Because text is an eighth inch high, and section lines are an eighth of an inch apart. These holes are an eighth of an inch, that's all I care about. This is meant for like you're going to do fractions and things, but we don't do fractions because that's for architecture, and we don't do that stuff here. Um, so we're just using these holes. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, if you don't have your lettering guide, this would be a good time to make sure you bring it or to get buddy buddy with someone that has one. <coughs> so, That'll, that'll be a nice way to draw all these lines. Because be, them being neat and consistent matters. If I see one that has lines that are like... Mm, 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 like that. Guess what? A plus? No. <laughs> I think you're on the opposite end. One way to do it. It might be an F plus. So... <clears throat> you want to make sure your, your section lines are nice and consistent. Because that also, that shows that you care about what you're doing. And so, if that looks good, probably everything else is pretty good. Also, when you have section lines going through parts, you want that 
See how that line lines up right there? All the way through, it's the same line. Even though it's cutting a corner, you want that to happen. So you'd want to go here, skip it over, start it here. This line here continues all the way through. This line here continues all the way through. Same thing with these. And this one, if it if it crossed into that area, same thing. You want the lines to continue all the way through the whole part. Okay? Kind of like a saw mark. If you put on a bandsaw to cut it, the saw marks would be would be the same. Same thing here. Okay? Questions? All right. <clears throat> so that pattern is called a hatch pattern. Especially when you get to the computer, they call it a hatch pattern. Well, if you want to take notes. <clears throat> so that was called ANSI 31. That's a standard pattern. <clears throat> it's used for kind of everything, but also iron and like cast iron, just plain iron uses that pattern. So you also can specify the material. So like if you had an assembly with a bunch of different parts, you could spe specify for each material, each part, what material it was by the pattern. Or if you just want to show it, so like steel, you just do two lines close and a gap and two lines. Uh, insulation, cork, marble, white metals, magnesium. So yeah, there's all kinds of different things. Um, when you're doing like civil stuff, you'll use the earth and the sand kind of things more often. Um, concrete. But usually if you're just doing one part, we always stick with this one. Why? It's easier to do. They're all eighth of an inch apart. We don't have to try and get different spacings or draw anything squiggly or anything like that. It's easy to do. It works. That's what we do. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's say that you're using a material uh, that is on this list. Do you just pick the one that's closest to it? Like say, I do ceramic tile, right? So would I go up to the marble, slate, glass, and porcelain? Yeah, maybe. Um, Wherever it's closest, right? Yeah. Or you just use that. Or, you know, that's yeah. Simple. If it if you just have one piece, usually you just use this. The only time I really get into the other patterns is if you're doing an assembly with a lot of different material types that you can use to separate it. Otherwise, on the assembly, you just change the angles and use that as, as a differentiation. Uh, the one exception to that is wood. So when you're doing a piece that's wood, you can do a, a, a hatch pattern. Even if you're not doing a section, you can do to show where the grain is. So if I was doing like these tabletops, I might do something like that. I don't have to fill the whole area, just a little area here, so that way on the different drawings, it knows which way to make the grain go. Because wouldn't it suck to walk in? And all the grains going sideways except for one piece, the grains went up and down. I would send that back. I would say, don't give me this crap, I want it right. So when you're doing wood stuff, a lot of times you will tell it which way which way the grain to go. Like if you went into the kitchen, all the grains going up and down and one cabinet's going across. It does bug you, right? So you want to make sure the grains go the same way. So you'll use that pattern even if you're not doing a section. <clears throat> um, or if you want it to be an in grain for something, you can do that. So questions on the different patterns. So which one do we use most often? Yeah. ANSI 31. ANSI 31. ANSI. ANSI. What does ANSI stand for? American National Science. Something. I'm forgetting the last one. Yeah. The last one's the easiest one. Institute. American National Standards Institute. Safety. 
which is which is also a part of ASME, American Society of Mechanical Engineers. They're the ones that are kind of taking over all the drafting standards, but we still call it ANSI. Uh, and I've got the actual standard back there, the blue binder, that says ASME standards. So if you want to look at the standards, if you don't believe anything I say, look at the look at the rules. <laughs> or if you question what I say, that's go to the go there. That that might that'll overrule me. <laughs> so the cutting plane, or that's what's cutting through the material. So the cutting plane here tells us where we're cutting. The arrows tell us which way we're looking. So like on this piece, we're cutting through here, looking towards the back. So we're just going to kind of erase that whole front area. And so we're going to see where it cut through the side. This bottom piece, the hole, nothing to cut through. Same thing over here. And we're going to see that hole that was in the back. Okay? Any questions on that? Any questions on that one? Just the different types of the cutting plane lines. We'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> so here we're cutting. Because the arrows are pointing down, the top view is going to be our section. Why isn't that got a hatch on it? Yeah, because there's no material there, right? No material means no hatch. If that was a solid circle all the way through, we'd hatch it. If you have more than one section, you want to label them. So we have section AA, A to A, down here. We have section BB over there. Right? Instead of bringing it straight out, we did it just our side view as a section. Which would be the same as if we took this and brought it up and turned it, right? up with the section lines. But that's not our normal position, so we'll just bring it back down to the normal place. And just put it, just bring it down, turn it, and put it as a side. We could have also done that as through here, right? But it doesn't up here show us more of where it's cutting. So that's why they showed it up here. Any question on that one? Yes, no. So center lines are for the engine slot? Yeah, those are the center lines for the slot. And we just kind of, they just went off the center line and made the section line on the end. They could also have just made the, a cutting plane line all the way through the center also, instead of the center lines. Which is what they did right there, right? Yeah. So, yeah, so you can be done either way. Usually this is the preferred way, just make your cutting plane line all the way through. And then, the center lines really don't mean that much. So, we'd rather see where the cutting plane line is than where the center line is. Okay? So cutting plane lines, we can either do a dashed line like a hidden line, or we can do this kind of line, which is a what? Phantom, Phantom line. So where it's two small dashes and a long dash. And center, or cutting plane lines are thick. And they're as thick or thicker than our object lines. So depending on who you talk to, some people say the same thickness as your object line, some people say 
just a little bit thicker. Some people say twice as thick. I need to check and see what the rules say. I'll check that later. But as long as you can see what it is, that's what matters. You look at that and go, oh, cutting plane line. You want to see that first. Okay? Questions? So, which one of those is right? Or which one is definitely wrong? Is A right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, A is good, right? <laughs> good. We're, if the section is on the offside of the arrows, yeah. the projections are right, so A is good. Looking at it like this, man. What about B? What's wrong with B? It's backwards. That should be over here, right? That's the front and the left view. Right? Because the, the projection isn't right. Because that should be would be hidden. So it needs, needs to be on the other side. Go out to C. Okay, our arrows. Three pointing that way. And that's it. Just the arrows. Just the arrows. Those, that's the same as that. Just the arrows are going the wrong way. Okay. Questions? And that's it. So So we have S E C F one A and two A. So it's like uh, page 55, 56. So here's 1A, you're given the top and the side view, and you need to make what the front view is, and make it a section. So you're going to do the front view as a full section. <laughs> so lots of practice here. Watch out for the tricky ones. <laughs> like number three. Yes. Yeah. He can give it away as much as he wants, but I'm telling you, you can see it. And then here's 2A. What we're going to do on this one is we're doing a full section here. So forget about the whole front part of it. And just we're going to draw this part on the front view, so full section. And then we're going to do an auxiliary of just the section. I mean, an isometric of just the section. Okay? So we're going to draw the section here, whatever that part looks like, and we cut it through the middle. And then for the isometric, it's going to be just that section. And you are going to show your, your section lines 
on the isometrics as well, just like you would in the front view. Okay? Questions? Yes? No? All right. What's this line mean? Can you look at it? Beside you? Hidden? <laughs> beside you? Yeah, it's hidden line, right? So look at this line and look at these lines. See what that tells you. Anyone? Yeah, there's something cut out of this area, right? So what shape is that whole thing? Look at this. This is here. It comes through. It disappears and it reappears over here. What do you think might cause that? Yeah, there's, there's, it's on the holes on both sides only, right? Do you think it just, they only drilled it in this far, they drilled it in the, from the other side? Or is there another explanation? What was that? Yeah, this is another hole right here, right? That's that deep, or that, that high. So there's material here cuts through, there's nothing, then it cuts through more material here. Yeah, so it's kind of a kind of thing. No, because this is a this part is tall. This part is tall. This part is not tall or thick. Yeah, kind of like a table with two big legs on the ends. So, all right. <coughs>